even if time travel were possible, yeah. you would not want it because it takes away from your ability to be in the present moment. Oh my God. So the mystery is what keeps us all going. Right. You can do so much with this, Josh. Yo, yo, Josh, yo. Today we're talking mind-blowing dynamic range. No, it's crazy. It's a uh, new product launch during this time, but uh, I'm super excited to finally bring this to you guys. Now this is technology that they, this is technology that we, uh, This is technology they've had since the iPhone 11. I got it, I got it, okay. Now we've had this since iPhone 11. I'm even calling it the time travel elevator. You should be recording this. This is like really good material. <laughs> we are recording this. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> What's there to say? Well, uh, I'm doing all right. It's been a while since we last talked. I'm sorry about that. This week I'm attempting to go back to work again, so that's good. Though at the moment things are still locked up. I'm the only one in the whole building. It's peaceful, but something still feels off. I doubt anyone cares that I'm there. Los Angeles is doing well. The city feels resilient. I hate to say this, but it kind of reminds me of Burning Man. Sunday morning after the man burns and all of Black Rock is hung over, there's this peaceful silence as people pack up and prepare for the long ride home. Speaking of the man, I read this great quote the other day from Larry Harvey. All real communities grow out of a shared confrontation with survival. Communities are not produced by sentiment or mere goodwill. They grow out of a shared struggle. Lysol won't remove tarnish. Try vinegar. Now I'd like to think that our time in the desert has prepared us for the confrontation that we are in, but sometimes I'm not so sure. HDR video mode essentially is taking two different videos at different exposures and then layering them together. And what you get is this really dynamic high die. Don't give a fuck! If there are parallels to Burning Man, it's an introspective look at radical self reliance. Bobby! Yeah, we got a broom. Close it up for, for the next little bit. Hello, everybody. This is Bobby. I am in Maui doing my share of um, quarantine, and I hope that everybody is doing the same thing. But so I, I won't use any. Okay, don't use any of it. I want to be. I want to be really but the honest. the time, even if time travel were possible, yeah, you would not want it. Oh my God. So the mystery is what keeps us all going. Right, If right. everything was unfolded, you'd be like... Done, 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 I'm yeah, out. Right. exactly. Yeah. Well, Bobby Pinn was Hawaii's 10th death from COVID-19, and his family says he had no underlying health conditions. He produced several short films and lived in Sweden, Washington State, and several other cities. Okay, um... And that's what I like about you, because I think you're sensible, hardworking, but smart about it. And not many people view things like that. Oh, thank you. Oh. Time is a very difficult thing to pin down. We think of time as a one-way motion from the past through the present and on into the future. We seem to be driven along in such a way that what happens now and what will happen is always the result of what has happened in the past. This year I've teamed up with Bobby Pin. He is a phenomenal producer. He's an accomplished photographer and Burning Man enthusiast. He sees the vision, he believes in it, and is a person that can help me get things done. He had seen a Burning Man short film of mine a year before and reached out to me and said, hey, the next project you do, I want to be a part of. 
So Bobby got to work. Casey, hey. So this is Carrie. Carrie, nice yeah, to meet nice you. Meet. We were at the end of our budget, had blown through 15 grand, and I was at my absolute lowest, ready to drive the time machine off a cliff. Strap the dolly to the time machine, we tip it back, and then we load this up onto a trailer, and I drive it over a cliff. He breezed in like a tornado. All right, guys, pull out your wallets. And with a few phone calls, raised us another $5,000 and got the project back on course. Eric Sandoval, Carrie leading the crew. We didn't have an LED guy, so he got his buddy from Florida to fly all the way out here and do it for free. Michael, this project's been held together with duct tape and a prayer. Yes. For the time machine? Well, just like, you know, you're a photographer, or you photograph. So, I'm a photographer for Burning Man, officially 2012 and 13. And then, last year, I got promoted to be a production coordinator. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> How's my hair? No. <laughs> oh my god, it's terrible. It actually looks great. Okay. It looks great. Okay, here we go. I mean, I when you told me about that, I was like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> This is just step it's, one. And, no, like... this, and the way I really relate it with your film, because you talked about the hearing, right? Yeah. And the lack of hearing, but the communication was really clear in the movie. And I thought that was like, it like, I was like, oh my God. Are you somehow connected to that world? And what made you go towards that topic in your film? You know, I feel like life, we're just kind of, uh, we're not given a roadmap and we're all, we all have our own disabilities and we're all struggling. Everyone has their own thing, their own yeah. personal stuff that they yeah. have to fight through every day. So one of the requirements for Burning Man to give you a grant for an art piece is the art piece has to have some form of interconnectivity. And it's often the hardest thing to figure out. How do you have the art piece, not just something to look at, but something that the inhabitants can interact with? How do I explain this without Tell me confusing. the visual. You can do so much with this, Josh, right? Yeah. You can really connect with a lot of people in a lot of ways. So Bobby came up with this. We're now destroying this beautiful 1938 Philco radio, and we're sinking in two extra buddies. It's kind of genius, actually. Bobby would give these out to random people on the playa or in camp and tell them to go find the time machine. He wouldn't tell them what it would do. He wouldn't even tell them where the time machine was but that if they found it and they used it, they were to give the key away to someone else. All right, look at that. We got a little key station going on. We got some glue and some gears. It was never about what the key did or unlocked. It was all about the mystery and the anticipation. Bobby realized that this made everyone else the time traveler. We made 350 of these and spent a month designing the program and we never told anybody what it actually did. This is the only one we have left. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Um, it's strange, I know, it's strange times. Emily, Carrie, Michael. I'm flooded with gratitude for each and every one of you and for Bobby who really championed this project and we couldn't have done it without him. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't want us crying over all this, so what do you say we let him go out with a bang? So as I'm recording this, I don't have anyone on my team um, for the Time Machine Elevator. This morning I'm meeting up with a guy named Bobby. He's a producer, he's also a you know, filmmaker like I am. He is the quintessential producer type. Someone who is motivated, someone who can see a director's vision, someone that is really in your corner, relay resources and people and money, whatever the director needs. Team Time Machine! Machine. This one's for you. Manual override engaged in three, two, one. 
Android's dream conditions. General relativity and quantum theory allow time to behave like another dimension of space. Imaginary time. People think it's something you have in dreams, but it's a well-defined concept. Imaginary time is like another direction in space. This removes the distinction between time and space, and means the laws of evolution can also determine the initial state. The universe can spontaneously create itself out of nothing. We are all time travelers, journeying together into the future. But let us work together to make that future a place we want to visit. Be brave, be determined, overcome the odds. It can be done.